What's up everybody, it's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again, and today we are playing Pontiac Country Club out in Waterford, Michigan. This was on July 24th, and I'll tell you what, the last few rounds of golf have been some of the best of my life, and I just want to keep it going. Um, here we are at the first hole, 475 yard, par 5. Out of bounds to the left, and I really kind of wimp out on this one. Send it way off to the right. That was, you know, just kind of security a little bit. You know, it's a short par five, so I knew I didn't have to ha hit a monster drive, you know. So that was kind of my reasoning behind it. So out of the rough, seven iron, hit this really well. Struck it really well. Really good. Gonna have about 85 yards in. Up the hill we go. Um, elevated green. I really have been trying to um, shorten my shot by shortening my backswing. And look at that, guys. I did not take a full backswing, but look where I finished at the follow-through. It wasn't cut off or anything. That's something I've really been trying to work on lately. Um, I've also, since the last round, um, I've really been trying to keep my head down a little bit more on the putts, not look up as soon as I used to. Like there. You know? Um, working on those kinds of things... It was really beneficial um, whenever I did it last week at Plumbrook, and now here we are at uh, Pontiac a week later. Um, just a short par, four, par three, I mean, down the hill. Another great tee shot. Great wedge shot. I used to have pitching wedge. Really well done. On the green and one. That's always the goal on the par threes, right? Just get on the green in regulation. That always gives you a big advantage. Cut the head down again on the putt. Look at that. I'm not pulling it like I used to at the beginning of the year. So that's good. All right, we're even through two holes. Look at that. So... Hole three, 502 yard par five. Um, I did something kind of stupid here. I tried to hit a big high driver over that tree right in the middle there. Um, thing is, you don't want to go too far right just because the trees are very dense over there. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's halfway down the fairway, they'll still pretty dense on the right side. And I do that. Out of the rough, you know, I actually hit that uh, tall tree out in the middle there. Um, and it knocked it straight down, and then I had a... Uh, to hit a five wood punch okay, shot under that tree and I didn't do anything good with it. Uh, then I hit this three wood. Um, I hit it okay for it being out of the rough. I swept under it a little bit, but uh, we're still gonna have a uh, short shot in. Wedge shot. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful wedge shot. 10 feet away, let's go. All right, got a chance to save a par. This would be some par if we make this. Come on, let's make it. Oh, come on, hit it. There is nothing more frustrating than having a putt exactly on the correct line and then coming up short by three or four inches. There's nothing more frustrating other than a lip out. So fourth hole, short par four. Um, big old hook again, shades of Plumbrook, here we go, um, 
We went about five and, uh, yards. And we're behind some trees here, but um, I want you guys to hear this. What what I'm saying right here. We would have been fine. We we, that would have been a great tee shot. Instead, now we have to punch out on a 320 yard. You know, it's better than trying to send it through the tree. See if I get what. I I need to. There's plenty of time left in this round, and I can get the stroke back somewhere. You know, I have the skill for that. I shot a 77. Just kind of talking about um, nice. how. Give myself just a little pep talk there. Um, just course management, right. you know. What I wanted to do is I wanted shot. to try to hit a high wedge over the trees, but I knew it was just such a low percentage shot. All right, another wedge shot. Absolutely incredible so far with the wedges. 10 feet away again. Well, maybe a little more than that, but as you guys can see, I'm not cutting off my follow through whenever it's not a 100% shot and it's working. So I really do need to do it more. Just come up short a little bit on the putt, but tap and bogey after the drive, I'll take that. All right, so here we are at the fifth hole, 346 yard par four. And um, these are the kinds of holes that make Pontiac Country Club really tough despite not being a very long course. Um, it's only 346 yards, but you can't hit driver just because those trees are just so high to the right and the fairway actually ends about 200 yards out there so that's why I hit a five iron and I yeah, struck it there. really well I hit it really nice but I hit it just a little bit through the fairway and now we're under a tree having to hit a punch shot from 150 Come on. oh my goodness just so unlucky I hit a great shot off the tee and just was a little too good. But this one's also pretty good. I mean, that's a pretty good punch shot. Yeah, to be able to um, hit that good of a punch shot, especially when I didn't have a full follow through because one of those branches, I was really proud of myself on that shot. Same with this one. Just absolutely incredible wedge play so far that, that's like a foot and a half we got a par we just got a par let's go oh my goodness look at this look at this chip excellent 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 chip shot sleep boss mode wow just tap that in with the wedge and Let's get out of here. Easily one of the best chip shots I've ever right. had. Two over three five. It's a par four with uh, two greens, and today it's on the right. Yeah, so here's a really cool hole. Um, it's got two greens. One of them is on the left, and uh, one of them is on the right. The fairway kind of splits at about 100 yards away from both greens, so it's a really cool hole. It's a hole that Pontiac Country Club is famous for. Um, I hit a pretty good drive, just push it a little bit. Um, but that's okay. If it was on the left green, that would not have been a good drive, but it's on the right, so I hit it really well. Just pushed it a little bit, but still got over the trees. I hit it good enough. And then this shot, a little bit of a thin contact almost sculled it and there's water behind and all around the green um so that was a close one um i was really lucky that it stayed up so um now i got a long putt for birdie see if we can get it close wait no what in really yes Are you kidding me? Oh, yes! 
easily one of the best putts I've ever hit in my life. It was going in pretty fast, but that's what the pin's there for. Uh, someone behind me, the group behind me actually Birdie yelled time. up and uh, was cheering for me. Yeah, great shot, dude. And uh, I was, uh, that's, what, that's who I was talking to just now. Um, so, one over through six holes. These last three or four rounds have been some of the best golf of my life. First, we had the 77 at Farmington Hills. Um, first time I broke 80. Now, then we had 81 at Eagle Glen up north that I showed you guys. Um, then I had a 77 at Plum Brook last week, and now this round where we've got a really good chance to break 80 again. Hit a really good tee shot right in the middle of the fairway. About 150 away. Hit a 9-iron. Just a little uphill. I Just a little bit short, but hit, got it on the green. Hit a good lag putt, and uh, there we are. Made short work of that hole for a par. Um, medium length par 3 here. 174 yards. Hitting 7-iron. There's a little bit of a breeze behind me. Normally I would have hit six iron. Really small green. I probably should have hit six iron. But you know, 175, kind of that distance that's just long enough to scare you a little bit and uh, just barely came up short. Chip shot on a pretty steep uphill lie and it came out just a little hot. Um, not that bad, though. I mean, this makeable par putt. About eight feet. Let's see what we can do. No. Not again. We came up three, four inches short on number three and three, four inches short on number eight. And here we are on the hardest hole on the course to finish the vlog for you guys. The ninth hole, 424 yard par 4, gotta hit a big drive and you gotta keep it straight. There's two bunkers on the right, there's a tree that overhangs on the right, there's some fescue over there as well. Um, and as you can see this tree on the left uh, prevents you from hitting the fade, which is kind of, I was kind of hitting the baby fade with all my drives today. Um, so tried to keep it left and just faded it just a little too much and here I am on the apron of a bunker I would have almost rather had it in the sand I could have got a little bit more spin on it um, but it was a bad lie didn't do anything well with it um, I actually walked around for like three minutes trying to find that ball after I hit it I thought it had gone into the trees but stayed short so here we have a 50 yard pitch shot maybe a little less than that wedges were on point today just that that's the kind of stuff i need to do if i want to break 80 consistently and break 75 this year so back in the game a little bit this is for par and a 38 didn't break as much as I thought it would. Still sub 40 though. Another sub 40. So there you have it, guys. Uh, plus 339. Played really well on the front nine. Didn't have any doubles. Didn't have any penalties. And um, 16 putts, no three putts. Well done. Well, well done. Um, didn't have any three putts on the back nine either, but. Um, Unfortunately, I did not play as well on the back nine other than the greens. As you can see, I got a triple bogey seven on a 305-yard par four with two penalties. Um, I lost a ball off the tee and took a drop for that, then went into the water, took a drop for that. And um, I shot plus nine in the last six holes, so kind of choked a little bit. And uh, this was five days later at Rackham Golf Course in Oak Park. Um, 
Sorry I didn't vlog that one for you guys. Um, I was playing with a couple guys. Uh, they kind of seemed off-put by it. But I shot a 39 on the front. No doubles. And then I shot a 44 on the back with a triple bogey on 11. Because I lost a ball, then I flubbed a chip, and it was just not good. And I shot plus 9 on holes 10 through 15 there. So... The last two rounds just kind of choked a little bit on the back nine. Got to not do that, you know. I mean, 84 and 83, still two really good rounds. And um, more golf coming for you guys. Um, playing really well lately. Let's see if we can keep it going. Guys, I'm really proud of the way I've played the last couple weeks. And hopefully we can continue that. All right. That's all for now, guys. See you next time.